Amazon devices will soon automatically share your internet with your neighbors. Now, isn't that nice? Not if you have man in the middle, not if you've got somebody snooping, not if you wanna keep your information private. This is extremely serious. This was released today, 529. We're going to read a little bit of this article and I'm going to give some follow up on company background. So it's called Amazon Sidewalk. If you use Alexa, X Echo, or any other Amazon device, you only have 10 days to opt out of an experiment, again, experiment, that leaves your personal privacy and security hanging in the balance. On June 8th, the merchant web host and entertainment behemoth will automatically enroll the devices in Amazon Sidewalk. The new wireless mesh service will share a small slice of your internet bandwidth with neighbor, near, nearby neighbors who don't have connectivity and help you to their bandwidth when you don't have your connection. Now, isn't that nice? By default, Amazon devices, including Alexa, Echo, Ring, security cams, outdoor lights, motion sensors and tile trackers will enroll and even tile trackers by default. Remember uh, all those opt out options? You do realize that every time there's an opt out or reset of terms and conditions, they opt out into their, they reset everything to you. Facebook is the most notorious for this. They will so kindly tell you that they, they've done a reset and you can reset it. But in the meantime, all your selections are gone. All your privacy options are gone. They've been reset. They don't default to where it was at. They remove it and let, let any information be grabbed. However, all their developers know this before you. All your information is what is called scraped or taken before you're even notified that the terms and conditions are being reset and your data is gone. Tile trackers even. And since only a fraction of a tiny fraction of people take the time to change the default settings, that means millions of people will be co opted into the program, whether they know anything about it or not. The Amazon webpage linked above says Sidewalk is currently only available in the United States. Do you know why? GDPR. There is no way that Europe would allow this. What is Amazon Sidewalk? Amazon Sidewalk is a shared network that helps devices work better, operated at no charge to customers. Sidewalk, no charge up front, but look at the life you're gonna leave behind as everything is taken from you. Sidewalk can help simplify new device setup, extend the low bandwidth working range of devices to help find pets or valuables with the tile trackers and help devices stay online even if they are outside the range of their home Wi-Fi. In the future, Sidewalk will support a range of experiences from using Sidewalk-enabled devices such as smart security and lighting and diagnostics for appliances and tools. How will Amazon Sidewalk impact my personal wireless bandwidth and data usage? The maximum bandwidth of a Sidewalk bridge to Sidewalk server is 80, which is about 1 40th of the bandwidth used to stream a typical high def video. Today, when you share your bridges connection with Sidewalk, total monthly data used by Sidewalk per account is capped at 500 megabytes, which is equivalent to streaming about 10 minutes of high def video. Really, you think there's going to be a limit? Why should I participate in Amazon Sidewalk? Amazon Sidewalk helps your devices and connected uh, get connected and stay connected. For example, if your Echo device loses its Wi-Fi connection, Sidewalk can simply reconnect uh, can simplify reconnecting to your router. For select Ring devices, you can continue to receive motion alerts from your Ring security cams, and customer support can still troubleshoot problems even if your devices lose their Wi-Fi connection. Sidewalk can also extend the working range for your Sidewalk enable devices such as a ring smart lights, pet locators, and smart locks so they can stay connected and continue to work over long distances. Amazon does not charge any fees for this. Isn't this nice of them? So Amazon has a white paper if you want to understand a little bit more about it. Now they try to make their um, they, they try to make it so complicated that nobody wants to dig into that. Right now on in this overview, there is quite a bit there, and I'm not going to break it down, but it certainly is interesting to look at. So there's two clicks I do want to look at 
uh, before we move on to a little bit about Amazon. This is the Amazon Sidewalk link that you can go to. And notice, normally it will open up into a new tab. In this case, it did not. So um, it actually opened up onto a cross brand and I was not logged into this device. So it helped itself to my own login. But here, once you click on that from the link, it'll give you more information about Amazon Sidewalk and the benefits of sharing and all the, the good news about the system. But what I also wanna point out to you down further in this article is how to turn it off. It's relatively painless and it involves opening the Alexa app, opening more and selecting settings, selecting account settings and selecting Amazon Sidewalk, turning Amazon Sidewalk off. So there you go. Now this isn't enough, right? So what about Amazon? Um, this week, Amazon fixed online retail prices through contract provisions and policies. The District of Columbia sued Amazon Tuesday, alleging that the online retail giant violated antitrust law with policies that prevent sellers from offering products at lower prices on other websites, even their own. Now, this is very interesting because the District of Columbia is the one who stepped up and sued. Yet, do you know if you have a contract with the federal government, you must sign a contract stating that you are giving them the best and lowest price available. You cannot undersell what you give to the federal government because they tell you that they have the biggest uh, buying power, even though their contracts never have a, uh, they're usually fixed price, but not fixed quantity. So you are, are saying that if they buy one of something, you give them the deepest discount of anybody you give, even though people who, who spent by millions or billions of your product. And that's what our government demands. And yet they're now going after Amazon. Now, rightly so, as it states here, Amazon fixed online retail prices through contract provisions and policies that prevent third party sellers that offer products on Amazon from offering their products at lower prices or better terms on other online platforms, including their own website. So let's say you have your own product, your own website you've been promoting for years. You decide you're gonna cross market on uh, Amazon on your own website, it has to be more expensive. And on Amazon, you have all the fees that go with it. Now, I, I'll note that it's been years since I've really dealt much with Amazon because their prices have gotten so much higher than even Walmart. Not saying they're a better company one way or another, but, some, but just looking at the price comparisons. Amazon, it keeps boosting the prices, charging more and more fees and, and giving less and less funds to the the seller. Now here's BBC News. Now this was back from 2019. So we're we're going red show. This is August 2019, two years ago. Amazon Ring. Police tie up criticized by anti-surveillance campaigners. See how this is phrased? People who don't want to surveil, they don't want to spy on their neighbors. Every time they walk by, some of these rings will actually ring as a sensor just to get you to look so they can get a facial imprint. Police then explain that, hey, we're pointing fingers over here because they wouldn't allow us to spy via the camera they put on the front of their home, so we couldn't do our job. Uh, back up the horses. The partnerships came to light after a Freedom of Information request, again, that's a FOIA, made by Vice's Motherboard Tech News website. The Bells send, there you go, the Bells send live video of customers' doorsteps to their smartphones. They're tied together and they network all the evidence and tracking of individuals on the sidewalks or the streets. Did you also know that the Amazon vans that drive around in your, net, your um, net neighborhood also have cameras on them that track data and give it to the police? It's massive surveillance. The partnerships allow police officers to ask customers to share videos and information about crime safety issues in their area via the Ring app. But as you know, you don't have to opt in. They're helping themselves to it. So Amazon has found the perfect end run around the democratic process, fight the future said. These partnerships undermine our democratic process and basic civil liberties and they should be banned. Amazon is not on your side. 
And here we go. We have Amazon doubles down. This was um, a year ago, January 2020. Amazon doubles down on the ring partnerships with law enforcement. The company's top hardware executives told Wired he's proud of the controversial program and hinted at future and more facial recognition. Ring, the home security company Amazon bought in 2018, has been criticized by more than 30 civil rights organizations for arranging secretive deals with hundreds of police departments. I think the other article said over 200 were involved across the country. In a letter sent in September, U.S. Senator Edward Markey said the partnerships could easily create a surveillance network that places dangerous burdens on people of color and feeds racial anxieties in local communities. But those concerns are not changing Amazon's approach to selling Ring's products, in fact, quite the opposite. So there's more information there. And again, if they can get the data and the police can get the data, anybody can hack in and get the data. That's just the way it works. Now, what about, let's look at some other policy issues. So we've got Whole Foods, of course, they're a subsidiary of um, Amazon. And um, along with face mask requirements, team members are also offered other protective gear. That's fine. This is right here on the Whole, Whole Foods um, website. Now, a number of organizations have stepped back and said, okay, masks are not required in the stores. And yet Whole Foods, who started out truly natural and doing the best for this planet, is not. Okay, what else do we have here? Amazon, let's see if we can pull this here. Amazon slashes affiliates payouts up to 80%. Remember all those referral fees people would have on their websites and I'm an Amazon affiliate and if you click through, then you get a percentage. Well, Amazon had its biggest year ever in 2020. As many mom and pop stores, stores shut down and we saw a mass, uh, uh, just a cliff for so many small businesses, Jeff Bezos alternated between one of the wealthiest men in the world because of AWS and the, the deliveries when people could not go to stores. And yet the company sent out an email to members of the Amazon Associates program with the subject line upcoming program operating agreement update. Well, that's a nice PC way to do it. That was April 14th, 2020, heading into that pandemic where people were counting on these platforms that they were supporting. The email starts with, we hope you are staying well during this time before laying a bomb on website owners that make money for by referring customers to Amazon. Actually, the email doesn't mention that rates are being slashed. Instead, it just informs people that changes are coming to affiliate agreement and to click the link to see the changes. And if you don't click, you don't know. And there's the chart. Drastic job as we're all looking for um, a slight increase. Look, here's 2% in Amazon Fresh. This is 5% in furniture, home, lawn, pat, pantry. 3%. Look at this is pretty massive. Many website owners rely on Amazon's affiliate program to monetize their websites. Affiliates already hurting from the pandemic now have more wounds to lick, as the site says. What else did we have uh, really um, grab hold last year? Um, Franchise delivery service. Okay, let's see what this is. As um, I mentioned, I did an, uh, a blast before, uh, delivery partner, logistics. I don't know if this one is gonna get the details because I hadn't planned to pull this up right now. But you know all those vans running around, the newer ones? Those are not run by Amazon. Those are third party uh, franchise or logistics partners, whatever you wanna call it. But just like Uber and Lyft, Amazon doesn't own those. They don't have to depreciate those vehicles. They don't have to deal with the headaches of the labor. They're pushing that all off onto an individual. What about gas prices, oil changes, maintenance? And as I mentioned, depreciation. What about insurance, workers comp, labor rules? That's all off Amazon. Now, if Amazon was just selling books um, back and forth starting in the early days, we get it. Right now, they're a behemoth, one of the largest trillion dollar companies on the planet, and they're shoveling off a service like this and making people smile that they're part of the program. Gas prices that go up, good luck in keeping revenue going. Amazon gonna, Amazon's not gonna cover that. So what else do we have here? This was uh, newyorkmag.com. Uh, 
nymag.com, nymag.com. And this is when Amazon Web Services go down, so does a lot of the web. Now, this is, again, reminding you the power of AWS, Amazon Web Services. Many people that think that Amazon is doing phenomenal because they're seeing the trucks all over and they're delivering. And yes, that's doing very, very well. But when most of the web back as far as I think this article was 2018. Where does it say here? Yep, 2018 all, all went down together. We realized as a world how many companies were on AWS and how few other choices they had. Now fast forward three years, it's massive with the Beanstalk and all the different programs where you can tiptoe into AWS only using load ban balancers, only launch in specific areas, maybe have all of your R&D in one country, but all your customer facing in another country, and that's all done on AWS, and you're only paying for what you're using and shutting down at the hours that you don't need it. Amazon has made it so easy that that's the direction many companies have switched. If your Alexa, Alexa suddenly went silent or your Slack channel at work stopped working today, there was a reason for that. One of AWS's data centers in Virginia suffered downtime from 9.23 a.m. to 1.26 p.m. Now we'll all remember this, so much of the web went down, affecting customers up and down the Eastern Seaboard. And if you think you aren't a customer of AWS, you're probably wrong, you just don't know it. I was in um, not the Eastern Seaboard, we're in the California and our shutdown, Europe experience, it was global. It's massive. AWS has their fingers everywhere and it's only growing. So I think this is uh, rounding the end on a little Amazon informational there, but I wanna bring us back to the, the core of why I'm bringing this up today. Amazon is not your friend. AI is not your friend. These companies are greedy. They, they do not care about you. They don't care about their partners. They don't care about their affiliates. And in this case, the level of surveillance that is in, in a world where right now we used to say, you know, why does it matter? I'm not doing anything wrong. Well, if you happen to, to back a specific former pres, you've done something wrong. If you happen to stand up for the Constitution, you've done something wrong. My son and I, as I mentioned yesterday, we bought a whole bunch of flags and, and put them all up over town. And in the back of my mind, I kept thinking, will I get arrested for this? How absurd that is. Nobody even has American flags in their neighborhood. And this is Memorial Weekend. And we went around putting up flags to show that we are proud of this country and standing for the direction it is going. Amazon is not your friend. So once again, if you have an Amazon device, if you don't opt out, and I guarantee you're going to have to opt out multiple times before June 8th, you'll probably have to go back to this several times. And after June 8th, they'll constantly reset it in their favor. This is very, very serious. Here again, I'm just going to leave this on the, the final screen here, turning off sidewalk, open the Alexa app opening more and selecting settings, selecting account settings, selecting Amazon Sidewalk, turning an Amazon Sidewalk off. All right, as always, blessings everybody and happy Memorial Day weekend.